The Honda Ridgeline is still the only Yoda body midsize pickup truck on the market, but the emergence of an even more compact segment that defies traditional truck-related values will certainly impose some new challenges on Honda's only pickup truck offering. The Ridgeline, too, defies the standard format and instead focuses on gizmos typically found elsewhere that resolve around the driver's comfort and convenience rather than the truck's utility and capability. As such, Honda's SUV-like pickup is as polarizing as trucks get and boasts plenty of pros and cons that often depend on perspective. Perspective. So, stay with us as we explore them in this video. Let's start with the Ridgeline's strong points. Number 5. Powerful V6 Engine The V6 is arguably going through the same ordeal as its two-cylinder larger counterpart went through a decade or two ago. While it once served as a motivation factor behind most upper echelon US market vehicles, the V8 is hard to find outside full-size trucks, SUVs, and some sports cars nowadays. Recent trends are a telltale sign that the same fate will befall the V6 as well in a few years' time. Yet Honda still sticks with it despite the fact even some larger options such as the Tacoma or Ranger have adopted the turbocharged four-cylinder approach, completely disregarding the V6 in the case of Toyota's next-gen midsizer. A capable V6 with lightning-quick throttle response and ample power in reserve is arguably the dream of every truck owner, and Honda is well aware of that. Even better, the 2024 Honda Ridgeline gets a bolstered version of the same old 3.5-liter V6, which now develops an additional 5 horsepower for a grand total of 285 ponies and 262 pound-feet of torque. Honda switched from a single to double overhead cam setup to achieve that and paired the engine with a new 10-speed automatic transmission, replacing the outgoing 9-speed units. While 5 extra horses don't look like much, all changes considered, the newest Ridgeline feels much peppier than the 2023 models. The Ridgeline remains exclusively offered in an all-wheel drive setup after front-wheel drive models were discontinued for the model year 2021. The company's IVTM4 all-wheel drive system with intelligent variable torque management, however, does more than enough to help us forget about the slightly more efficient front-wheel drive models. It's always been the prerequisite for unlocking the Ridgeline's maximum towing capabilities, and that hasn't changed. It also does wonders for the Ridgeline's on-road manners, as thanks to it, the midsizer rides more like a crossover than a conventional pickup truck. Number 4. Emphasis on Features and Comfort Aside from boasting arguably the most comfortable ride in the segment, the 2024 Honda Ridgeline provides a spacious and well-appointed cabin with lots of standard convenience and safety gear. For starters, Ridgeline passengers will enjoy the best-in-class legroom capacity of almost 37 inches. Honda only offers one cabin-slash-bed configuration, however, so that's understandable. However, other competitors also come with dual or crew cab setups, depending on nomenclature, and they still fall short of the Ridgeline's figures. The Ridgeline also offers above average quality of cabin materials with cloth upholstery exclusively offered in entry-level models, for instance. Otherwise, the seats are furbished in leather. Available features are similarly of cut-above-the-rest variety, as every Ridgeline provides a three-zone automatic climate control alongside a host of advanced safety gear. Speaking of safety, even the base Ridgelines come equipped with automatic emergency braking, lane departure warning, lane keep assist, and adaptive cruise control. New for the model year 2024 is the multi-view camera system, which, as its name suggests, uses a multitude of cameras cameras located across the vehicle to communicate the surroundings to the driver on the touchscreen display. Number 3. Improved Design the 2024 Honda Ridgeline follows in the Pilot SUV's footsteps with which it shares the underpinnings. After the platform donor underwent a mid-cycle restyling recently, it's now the pickup's turn. The changes are mostly subtle, however, and the Ridgeline receives a new slightly more chiseled bodywork with a redesigned honeycomb mesh grille, and the overall styling and dimensions, however, remain intact. The interior is also scheduled for a minimalistic overhaul, as the 2024 models are expected to benefit from a new slightly larger 9-inch touchscreen display, which made its debut in the Pilot. Pilot. The SUV has it nestled atop the dash now, and we'd expect the Ridgeline to do the same. Other than that, changes will be kept to a minimum, as Honda's truck already boasts one of the most comfortable and spacious cabins in its class. Number 2. New Off-Road Trim much like pretty much every automaker out there, Honda can't afford to fall behind in the adventuring and off-roading department, especially since the Ridgeline hasn't even had an off-road capable variation thus far. In fact, with a ground clearance of only 7.6 inches, the Ridgeline is the pickup truck with the lowest off-roading upside on the market, large or small. Well, not for any longer. The all-new trail sport trim, which made its debut in the, you guessed it, Pilot SUV, makes its way to the Ridgeline in a quest to equip the mid-sized truck with some much-needed ruggedness. Aside from a new suspension with an additional inch ground clearance, the 2024 Honda Ridgeline Trail Sport throws in all-terrain tires, protective skid plates, and no fewer than seven different driving modes. Also standard is the all-new multi-view camera system. 
which should come in handy on the trail. Of course, the Ridgeline will never be as capable off the beaten path as its more illustrious dedicated off-road competitors, but the trail sport is definitely a step in the right direction, especially since it's the first baby step toward off-roading for Honda's truck. Number 1. Intelligent Cargo Bed at 5'3 and with only 34 cubic feet of cargo volume, the Ridgeline's cargo bed is definitely on the small side. However, not everything is as it seems. What it lacks in size, the Ridgeline's bed makes up for an ingenuity. Some 13 inches from the ground, the bed opens up to a 50-inch wide box capable of handling certain types of cargo that even larger Ridgeline's competitors can. Then there's the waterproof lockable hidden in-bed compartment with an additional 7.3 cubes of storage capacity. Finally, the Ridgeline's bed is a definition of a tailgating experience capable of drawing either 100 watts from the truck's battery or 400 watts from the alternator. There's also a dual-action tailgate that either swings open or drops down in a conventional manner, plus the truck bed audio system, turning the Ridgeline into a versatile vehicle capable of serving as a camping trip enhancer or a work truck with equal a plume. Sadly, the Ridgeline also comes with its fair share of caveats, meaning it's not a truck for everyone. Number 3. Single Non-Efficient Powertrain Choice while we've established that the Ridgeline's V6 is a trustworthy and capable choice, it's simultaneously one of its downsides, or the lack of actual choices for that matter. An optional, more fuel-efficient four-cylinder would do wonders for the Ridgeline, not to mention a hybrid. However, don't expect such an option for a few more years at the very least when the next-gen models arrive. Even that's a big if at the moment. Currently, the Ridgeline's V6 is rated at 18 mpg in the city and 24 mpg on the highway, which is downright atrocious for a unibody midsize truck competing with both the more conventional body-on-frame midsize counterparts and unibody compacts like the Ford Maverick, which manages to squeeze as much as 40 mpg in its hybrid form. Number 2. Small Bed and Low Towing and Payload Ratings no matter how practical and ingenious the Ridgeline's bed is, the fact that it could fit less than 35 cubic feet of cargo space above the floor at most is simply unacceptable for some. The added in-bed storage compartment is nice, but unless you're carrying fragmentable cargo, it won't be of any particular help. The ability to tow up to 5,000 pounds of trailer is also relatively poor, especially considering how even the smaller Hyundai Santa Cruz manages to replicate those same figures with ease. A payload capacity of more than 1,500 pounds is one of the few redeeming aspects of the Ridgeline's capability, but due to the smallish size of its bed, you'd have to fit it with a particularly compact sort of cargo to test its limits. Number 1. High Price Tag Let's face it, the Ridgeline is downright expensive even in its base form. Yes, you do get a burly V6, a 10-speed transmission, a mandatory all-wheel drive, and lots of gizmos inside and out, but at north of $40,000, the entry-level Ridgelines are hard to justify. The more lavish trims will set you back some $47,500 at most, and at that point, their price tags are somewhat more justifiable, especially considering the extra comfort-oriented features they bring to the table. The 2024 Honda Ridgeline might be even more expensive to factor in the recent changes, although we wouldn't expect a huge difference as the current pricing is already stretched to the limits. It'll be interesting to see how much the new trail sport models will go for. In the case of the Pilot SUV, that's $12,000 atop the entry-level pricing, but then again, the Pilot's margins are much wider than those of the Ridgeline. A $50,000 price tag for the new range-topping Ridgeline trim would be more sensible, although that doesn't exactly trim the said margins by much. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.